Hi, so here's a very quick uh, kind of video on demand um, explaining how to get the Avitap uh, put into the Flight Factor A350. I got two requests, uh, both were in English, so uh, this video is going to be in English. Um, it's not that difficult to install this Avitap option, but it is, uh, yeah, um, there's one caveat I have to give here, and that is we're using not the release version of Avitap, we're using a beta. And I had one crash with the Flight Factor A350 that I couldn't e exactly pin on a specific reason. So it is possible that the beta version of the Avitap that we're using here, because these, it, it, it needs this new version in order to work, you cannot do it with the old one, with the currently released one, official one. So just be aware, um, if you ha use Avitap now, make a backup of your plugin folder, of the Avitap plugin folder. Make a backup so that you can jump back to it, okay, in case you realize that uh, Avitap, uh, the new version, the version 0 0.44 at the moment, um, does not work. Okay, so how do you integrate Avitap with the Flight Factor A350? It's actually quite simple. Um, I just show you. Um, first of all, you need to download the latest version of the Avitap plugin, and for that, uh, you need to go onto this link, and uh, you come into this article here, which uh, describes basically new feature in Avitap, which is this great feature here, having the Navigraph as as a possible map um, for your flight, including. Uh, your airplane position. That's great stuff. Actually, that works quite well. And you get the latest version, which apparently is still 0 0.4.4 by clicking on this link. And then you download a zip file. It may be by the time that you're watching this video, there is a newer version out. It may also be that if you're watching this much later, that uh, in the meantime, Avitap has been released in its new version. Uh, just make sure that you grab the, the most relevant one, okay? But it has to be a 0 0.4 version, either release or, or beta like this here. Obviously, betas bear the risk of having little problems, okay? So at the moment, as I say, I had one crash to desktop that I couldn't attribute. I'm not sure if it was Avitap, it could be. It may not be, <laughs> um, just be aware of that. So download this one here, and this is a normal plugin. So what you do is um, you basically unpack this. There's a folder called Avitap, and you put it into your explain folder resources plugin plugins. That's where all your plugins go. Just a normal thing. And if you have the older Avitap in there, please take out that folder, but save it somewhere so that you can go back and then replace basically your, your Avitap folders, uh, the old one with this 0 0.44 new one. That's number one. This is now being used for all other aircraft as well. So when, when you place something in the plugins folder of, of uh, X-Plane, it is used for all aircraft, not only for the A350. That means you will have these new features, the beta features also with the Zeebo and, and the other aircraft that use uh, Avitap. So that's number one that you need to do first. Then uh, you download from this site here, the Avitap for FF A350-900 version 2.0. It's from December 23. Um, you download that zip file and it assumes that you have done the Avitap installation as I've just shown you. And th then you basically get uh, this zip file, and I show you this, there's a folder here, you open that folder and what you see is a plugins and an avitap.json. Now this plugins does not go into the resources plugins, okay? So this has nothing to do with the common plugin stuff. What you need to do is you need to go into your aircraft folder wherever you have your Airbus uh, lying, okay? So with me it's a bit a slightly longer path because I, I like to organize my, my, my add-ons, but basically you look for your Airbus A350 folder, the one where your, your aircraft is actually in, 
and then you just take these two and you basically drag and copy them. I won't, won't do that now, but you, you copy them in here uh, and you will uh, override any Avitab JSON that you may or may not have. Okay, you can override that and the plugins folder, um, it will contain a, an additional uh, plugin folder that hasn't existed before. It's called the XLua because the guy has used XLua to script the use of the Avitab plugin in, in the aircraft. That's something that uh, Flight Factor does not use. They have their own scripting uh, environments that they facilitate. So it seems to be quite okay. Now, XLua is sort of an extended Lua uh, interpreter, or, or yeah, it's an interpreter, I guess. Um, and you can write these scripts, and they have written something to integrate this into the Flight Factor A350. And that's basically it. Next thing you do is you go to your simulator, you start the simulator. I'm not going to do this here now. And what happens then is, <laughs> I'll show you here on the, on the pictures. Oh my God, there's, couldn't you do them a little bit bigger? <laughs> so basically what you can see is there is now an option to actually call up Avitab in here, okay? Um, and you will see this option. <laughs> I thought these are bigger pictures. Um, and you can see that, that it uses the full size of the displays. And if you use the display switch, I think it's down here, this, this button, you can actually toggle between the side um, window and the center and put, put Avitab and its charts and the Navigraph and everything that Avitab does will be visible here and it will cover the whole screen. It will, won't be a, a mini screen as we have seen in other attempts to integrate it with other aircraft. Um, it uses the full size and that is actually quite well done. Okay, so that's it. Uh, basically, you don't have to do more than that. Uh, just get these two zip files, unpack them in the, in the corresponding locations. Just be careful they don't mix them up. And uh, just be aware that Avitab at the moment is still a beta and it could be that you face some, some issues. If you do, you probably better um, take it off again and um, also take out these two um, items from the Flight Factor A350. Uh, but, well, I've done two flights, one crashed. I don't know why the other one didn't. So chances are that it is quite okay and that you can use it. Okay, so that's about it, um, how to get the Avitab into the Flight Factor A350. Until next time.